because the city cannot come into some hollow of the world. Can evil or befall a city? Or does evil befall a city unless it is done by the Lord? And I found the Lord to be the wearer of that garment of blood. And the garment is this garment that I'm wearing now. And the one who is wearing it, I am. That's the Lord. His name forever and forever. Therefore, no evil can befall this unless the Lord has done it. And the Lord is my own wonderful human imagination. So then I can rub out the seeming actions of the world. I can rub out all the things that seem to be horrors of the world. And know that I cannot avoid what I have done. I must read it. Eventually I learn then to plan wisely. And to live wisely. And to simply, well, bless every one of the world. It's myself anyway. I am not taking anything from myself by praying for another. And when Job prayed for his friends, his own captivity was lifted because it wasn't really another. The whole vast world was himself pushed out. So I don't have to be concerned about what is in it for me when I ask for abundance for another. I can ask for abundance for any being in the world. 